Welcome to State of Tech, Anthony here. Today we are gonna demo for you the Marvel Creative Studio Stylus. What we're gonna do first is open up this great stylus package. Would you look at this? It's so handy that they would give this to us. So you're gonna unzip it like so, right? Makes sense there. It's got all this nice comic design to it. And here is our Marvel Stylus. Pretty wonderful, right? We're gonna take the stylus. You'll see here there's a power button, turn it on. And what you're actually able to do is pair up two at a time. There's a red and a blue light that will show up on your stylus when you're using it. So now you can go ahead and actually move along the iPad with your new stylus. And there's actually some little sounds that'll be going on as you're using Marvel it. Creative. So you'll see that you're looking at the screen and we have uh, Avengers Assemble, Hulk Smash, Ultimate Spider-Man are all neat little things you're able to use within the app. And so when you have the stylus, you're also gonna be able to unlock every in-app purchase that is within the free app already, but there's so much more to access when you have your stylus. And so if you see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can unlock all the content with the Marvel stylus right here, and I'm already logged in, so I've already got that, utilizing that business. So if you went to the store, you could access there without the stylus, but with the stylus, you'll have access to all of it already. So within each feature, you'll see there's color, draw, and assemble. So I'll just go ahead and jump in real quick and show you what it's like to have a Hulk image in color. You can select any of your colors up top. I'll go ahead and pick a green one with my stylus. And now, another neat feature is that you'll see that I'm not actually touching the screen, but things are changing on it because I'm using the stylus. So as I press up, I'm changing the actual size of the spray. And then if I go down, it'll change it back over. And then if I click on the spray, I could go ahead and choose any sort of pencil that I want. There's pencil, there's paints, there's erasers, all sorts of stuff in there. And then you can get to work on your image. And then with your fingers, you can go and zoom in just like that. And you can just begin painting and penciling all over these different images and making them look fantastic. And once you're satisfied with them, you can even, if you wanted to, access different stickers. So if I drag this in right there, resize it how I want it, Ta-da, the Hulk is smashing the Hulk. Paradox, right? Kind of crazy. Now let's take a look at Avengers Assemble Draw. draw. Clicking on there, this is gonna help you learn to draw any of the Avengers characters. So I'm gonna show you how to draw the Iron Man helmet. What you can do is click in the bottom right hand corner and actually get rid of those guidelines. We can click them again to bring them back to us. And now we'll choose our color, we will choose our style. Let's do a brush. And again, with the pen, you can actually size up and size down quite easily. Now we can begin to draw over the lines that are supplied to us. And once you're finished drawing, you can check out your saved ones that you've done. And you'll see here is one that I actually did in the past of the Iron Man mask. You'll see how beautiful the artwork is done because I'm such a great artist. I will show you last but not least in the Ultimate Spider-Man, the Assemble. You'll choose a setting. Now we have this one. All you have to do is drag in your different stickers. With great power. There is great our Spider-Man, size them up. And you can switch to actually different sound effects and words. And you can also switch once again to the landscapes. So now if I drag in the boom right here, click record, three, three two, two, and one. one. Go. Drag over my Spider-Man right over to the boom sound, stop, now I can play it back. Pretty neat little feature there, right? The fact that it can interact like that. And then you'll see all these different stickers that you have access to. You can drag them in as well. Now and you'll, you'll also have the, the capability that when you're recording, Overwrite Three, the current one. Two, one, go. And so now that it's recording, I can drag Spider-Man up here. I can drag him back over here. I can then drag in a new character. And when I stop, they'll play back in that order. So if they weren't in before, now they will be in. Last but not least, little tip here for your stylus. If you have one or more being used on your iPad, 
Right now, it is a red color because it is the first stylus, but when you add your second stylus, if you go ahead and hold the top button for three seconds, it'll turn to blue, which means now it's the second stylus. Same thing if you want to change back to the first stylus, you'll just hold the top for three seconds, one, two, and a three, and it'll switch right back over to the red. So that's gonna help you be able to go ahead and use two different styluses on the same iPad. For the full use of Marvel Creative Studio, you will want to purchase a stylus one, maybe even two, for your iPad, so you can unlock all of those in-app purchases completely for free when you have your stylus. There it is, the stylus for Marvel Creative Studio. Thanks so much today for watching State of Tech. Once again, my name is Anthony.